Hello. Ian, good morning. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. It's great to be here with you. I w woke up, got all dressed for this. <laughs> well, it's a shame because, uh, well, getting, by the way, getting dressed is the first part of getting out the house and getting to work. So solid move on your part. <laughs> That's right. This is, this is uh, a real one-way relationship we have here. You can see me, <laughs> but I can't see you. Uh-huh. Well, to be honest, I can't see you. I, I'm just going to imagine what you look like today. <laughs> hey, man, thanks for um, taking time. In all seriousness, thanks for taking time to talk uh, to us about this. Yeah, you're very welcome, Ian. I've, I've been a longtime fan of yours, so when I got this opportunity, I'm like, yes, definitely. Thank and you, And I always joke with the guests that we have confetti, but I went to the store just to buy some confetti, but we'll do it at the end, okay, because we don't want to do it now. It'll, you know, it'll be, it'll be too much. Okay, okay, Ian, so let's go ahead and get started. Before we jump into your uh, V Wars that is now streaming on Netflix today, you know, there are so many people who look up to you as a role model, who adore you, you know, who love you. But being That's a well-known kind of. actor in the public eye, what's really been the best experience for you so far from all the people you've come across on a daily basis and also you know get to work with listen wow that's a big question right out of the gate I will tell you <clears throat> it is <clears throat> having this job is rewarding on on, on, on not even just a multitude of levels uh, millions of them but <clears throat> the people right it's the people that I get to talk to on a daily basis not just in the social sphere but Mm -hmm. uh, doing publicity, doing talks, walking on the street, in airports, everywhere. Yeah. I get to communicate with people and they come up to me in a wonderful light with wonderful energy and they typically share something important about them. And I've learned mm -hmm. so much about humanity, especially in these last 10 years post Vampire Diaries or during Vampire Diaries. Mm -hmm. There is so much love and energy that people pump toward me. And I love accepting it. I love giving it back. And I also love reminding them to remember that feeling. To remember that feeling of what it feels like to be genuinely happy, even if it's in a moment. And try and recreate that throughout your life. You know what I mean? I know mm -hmm. it sounds a little, I'm not trying to make it sound like self-serving. I mean it in the most positive way, which right. is, it's, yeah. it's a beautiful exchange of energy. You know what I mean? I like that. I love that, Ian. Yeah. Well, you know, what's really been the biggest life lesson for you, you know, that you've learned in life that you could share with your fans this morning? Because, you know, th there's a lot of fans, like I said, that adore you and they look up to you. They claim oh, you as awesome. their role model. And I, I mean, you have to be so grateful for that to know that, I you am. know, fans, they love you in that way. But, you know, and I mean, I... I mean, I can see why. I mean, because look at Ian. Ian's very successful. Uh huh. He, he's crushing it. He's killing yeah, it. Super yeah, that's you. right, Ian. <laughs> well, no, you know what, man? I. It is so hard out there. <laughs> out there is really tough. Um, I, but one thing I will say A, happiness is a choice. Taking care of yourself, your, your, your own physical self, your family, your environment, they all go hand in hand. And I think the one thing that we're doing, uh, we all try and find, and, and I do this in my life every day, and I'm 40 now and I still struggle with it, is balance. Balance is mm -hmm. so key, mm -hmm. right? Because we're, we, we live in these extremes and, and finding that balance is really the nuance of getting older and smarter. And I just, practicing mindfulness not to sound like too crunchy and cerebral but right. <laughs> i've learned this i mean even you know i mean i talked yeah. to this stuff I, I talked to people in my family who are mississippi farmers and we talk about mm -hmm. the idea of mindfulness and connecting to nature in this digital age and i see it with young people and adults as well we're continually getting farther and farther and farther away from in touch with ourselves and nature just because we have all mm, these digital devices so just uh -huh. to remember to go back to the, to the, to the natural side. Because at the end of the day, we are animals. Mm -hmm. We are from this earth. This is where we make our stand. Put your feet on the ground. You know, take some time to breathe in the air. Remember, you know, that family and balance and health are important. And they're actually sort of 
they're kind of our responsibility in a way, you know, because mm -hmm. healthy, happy Absolutely. people build healthy, happy societies. And that's mm -hmm. just science. You know what I mean? That's right. And th that's such a great point you made there because uh, the young generation, all they do is they're stuck on their phones all the time. They don't yeah. actually get to live in the moment. Yeah. You know, they just live through a phone and take images. But then, you know, what's that if you're not living through the moment, you know? So I think that was a really good point that you made there. We're going to get the wrap up here momentarily, but I want to now let's touch on your new Netflix series, uh, V Wars. You v know, Wars. you're known for playing, uh, I guess, the kind of the vampire bad boy and, you know, the CWs, the vampire diaries. But, you know, in this new Netflix series, V Wars, you have like a whole new side of yourself. So talk to us a little bit about your character that you play and how exciting was it to find finally uh, bring something like this to the fans on a higher level on Netflix. You know, streaming, listen, nonlinear television is a gift. Um, uh -huh. As a producer, it's pretty wild. You don't shoot an episode, yeah. put it in post, and deliver it. You deliver everything at once. Uh -huh. um, but I got to play Damon Salvatore for so long. He was so fun, yeah. so snarky, sexy, awesome. He was also uh, an yeah. ass. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, but people loved him. But I got to play uh -huh. Luther Swan. This man is... He's a scientist that I always wanted to play. He's a great oh. man. He possesses superpowers, but his superpowers are that he's just a great dad, that he's a great scientist, that he's a great husband. Mm -hmm. Because to me, great dads, great scientists, and great husbands are superheroes because everything around them spreads positively, right? And that, that we need yeah. more of that in the, in, the, in the world. But once we start to, to, to peel back the layers of the onion and, and really... Um, Pull, you know, look behind the curtain. We're going to start to see a quite flawed man who's just like everyone else, struggling to 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 do the right thing, um, and he's going to be tasked with some pretty heavy stuff. Which is, this is a disease that is spreading. These vampires come as a result of climate change, melting ice, and exposing uh, a, a, a disease that that we that I end up contracting with my best friend, Michael Fain. Uh, played by the lovely and talented Adrian Holmes. And we take it back and spread it. So this is more of a disease, like in the realm of, vein of like a 28 days later. Um, mm. And that is what I'm excited uh, about because this is a more grounded take on vampires. And it's actually, yeah. Jonathan Mayberry reminded me, it's the first time that we have seen vampires that aren't supernatural, period, in the story, in entertainment. So It's going to be... I, so cool. I can't wait to watch thank it. Thank you, man. Check it out. You know, I, I, uh -huh. I do want to get this in front of people. I'll be really transparent because yeah. I want to I wanna get into a season two. We only did 10 episodes, right? So in a network format, I would have had a much longer runway. Um, right. 22 episodes or 18 episodes at least, right? So uh -huh. yeah, yeah. 10 just barely scratches the surface and it sets up the world. And um, we want to get in and, and hit it hit it hard and really blow the lid off of this. It's a global yes. show. It's a global story. It's about humanity. Um, mm -hmm. And that's what's exciting. Oh, I can't wait to check it out. It's streaming now so everyone can go binge it. And uh, binge. congratulations once again. It's going to be fantastic. Man. And also, too, you know, um, I hear your wife is part of, uh, she, well, she's going to make an appearance on one of the episodes in the first season of V Wars, which I know is very exciting. It's really um, exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm really grateful for her. She she did us a huge favor coming in and, and doing a few episodes for us and delivering these powerful, incredible, nuanced performances. Uh, while building our company, you know, she has this huge jewelry company now, Buy You With Love, that oh. she's a oh, maverick me, in the sustainability uh -huh. world. Oh, my gosh. Check it out. She's, <laughs> she's a Can't wait. Well, Ian, we're running out of time. Uh, I, I have to go now, but I'm going to shoot this out for you, Ian. Cover your ears. Cover your ears now. Hold on. Wait. Listen. Hold on wait. How does it go? Oh, God. Watch me not even. Know. I don't even know how to do this. Oh, gosh. What Ian. happened? I can't even get the confetti to shoot. Oh, well, Ian, I I'm going to let you go. <laughs> thank you. Oh, God. Thank you for your time Ian, and thank energy. You. Yes, thank you, Ian. V Wars is now streaming on Netflix. You take care. You have a good day, Ian. You too. Have a great day. <laughs> Talk to you later. <laughs> Talk soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> what awesome energy, man. Oh, gosh. The struggle's real. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, wait. Oh my god. I think I had a heart attack. Oh.